Welcome to this introduction to the Connecticut State Colleges and Universities Blackboard Faculty Resource Center. When you first enter the course, you'll see any announcements about new content that's been recently added. If you scan the course menu buttons, there are many different resources available to you. However, in this demo, I'm going to focus on just three areas. The content under the button labeled Self-Paced Modules, Training Materials, and Best Practices Demo Course for Faculty. Let's begin by clicking the Self-Paced Modules button on the menu. We'll start at the top and work our way down through the various modules and folders contained on this page. The first thing you'll see here is a link to an important document, the Distance Education Course Design Guidelines. The evidence-based best practice recommendations you'll find in this document can help you do your own self-evaluation of a variety of instructional strategies. These can make your online Blackboard course content and activities easier to navigate and help you design a learning environment that will contribute to your students' success. The next module, Semester Beginning and Ending Tasks, is where you'll find links to instructions on how to accomplish many common chores that faculty need to attend to each term. For example, many instructors do not realize that they need to download and retain their grade center and grade center history each term in order to be able to address grade challenges. These should be retained for five years. This module contains links to videos and other information that will show you how to download both of these items from your courses. The Blackboard Introductory Modules folder contains several different units that will help you begin uploading and organizing your content and activities in Blackboard. When I open the Using Blackboard Tools folder, there are many different modules on all of the various tools in Blackboard. Each of these modules contains links to online instructions and videos, as well as practical tips and strategies that can help you use the tools more effectively. To find information about non-Blackboard technology tools, such as WebEx, look inside the Other Technology Tools for Instruction folder. To find the handouts that are used at hands-on and webinar-based training sessions around the system, just click the Training Materials button. The last thing I want to draw your attention to is this menu button labeled Best Practices Demo Course for Faculty. This course was created to help faculty who are new to Blackboard, who want to start off organizing and designing their courses in ways that incorporate best practices of online instruction. It provides instructors with a student's eye view of what a well-designed course in Blackboard might look like so that they can use it to help them plan and develop their own courses. Instructions on how to be enrolled into this course are included on the page displayed when you click this button on the menu. I hope this video tour has encouraged you to visit the Blackboard Learn Faculty Resource Center the next time you need some just-in-time information on how to use Blackboard.